It's wave two of October 2023. We've got a lot of games coming Xbox Game Pass, so let's get right into it. First up is the Like a Dragon spin-off, Ishin. Set in mid-19th century Japan, this was a spin-off of the previously titled Yakuza series. We called it a welcome addition to the franchise and a beautiful remaster with many familiar faces returning for fans of the series. Next is City Skylines 2, coming on October 24th. Originally supposed to come to console, cloud, and PC, it is only coming to PC with the devs stating the game hasn't reached their internal benchmark, so it might be a little rough at launch. But if you love city builders, this will be one to check out. Minico's Night Market hits on October 26th and is a Japanese slice-of-life narrative-driven social simulation adventure game that celebrates Japanese culture and invites players to craft whimsical items, eat delicious snacks, and ultimately enjoy all of the cats. Also coming on October 26th, you get to play as the second best detective. As you question silly suspects and look at things through your magnifying glass in Frog Detective, the entire mystery, bringing Frog Detective 1, 2, and 3 finally to consoles. It labels itself a family-friendly, witty take on the detective genre. Coming surprisingly early and just in time for Halloween, Game Pass Ultimate and EA Play members are able to play the Dead Space Remake, released back in January of 2023, a game which our site gave a 10 out of 10, calling it incredible, and in fact, the best remake of the year. Take that, Resident Evil. October 31st also sees the release of Headbangers of Rhythm Royale, where you and up to 29 other people will be pigeons who have to see who becomes the ultimate headbanger in mind-bending musical minigames, where you'll screw over your competitors with power-ups and collect crumbs to customize your very own pigeon. October 31st sees Don't Nod's Jusant. Describing itself as a meditative climb, you'll scale an immeasurably tall tower, ascend to new heights through diverse biomes, and piece together the tower's past alongside your watery companion. Rounding things out is F1 Manager 2023 coming on October 19th. You'll drive every decision, manage every aspect of your chosen F1 team from your garage, from the pit lane to the podium. Challenge for Motorsport's highest accolades. That is the final new edition for the month. Let's get into what's leaving. Leaving on October 31st is Gunfire Reborn, Kill It With Fire, Persona 5 Royale, surprisingly, Signalis, and Solasta, Crown of the Magister. All of those are on Cloud, Console, and PC, so you've got roughly two weeks to beat them, which means you can get about a third of the way into a bit of Persona 5's opening. 